All right, go for it. Hi guys, so welcome to our first call of 2020. Um, we, our VPs are taking over because the MVPs are in Maui and we will all be there next year, everyone on this call, all 73 of us. Um, so we just, all of us, each of us have kind of something we're gonna share. Um, first, I'm gonna go over just kind of a general goal setting for this year, and then we're gonna dive into more specific things with um, Amanda and Nikki. So my name is Crystal Abdallah, you guys know me, I'm an RVP, and um, my theme for this year it just for myself is to evolve or repeat so i feel like these are really our only two options are you going to repeat what you did last year um or are you going to evolve reflect and flourish and also show others how to do the same so i'm going to start off tonight by giving you guys some homework so i really want you to take the time to do this I have learned that there are certain things that we hear and learn in this business that don't really seem like they would be helpful and maybe it's because they're not necessarily income producing activities, but they're actually a crucial part of growing your business. So I really want you guys to do this. So take some notes here. I want you to reflect on what happened in 2019. What did you succeed at? What goals did you meet? Where did you fall short? What head trash did you have? What did you fight through? What did you overcome? Just really take the time to reflect on that. And this is why, because I feel like you are going to be surprised when you reflect back and you actually realize what you overcame. And honestly, you might be surprised about what held you back. And also think about where would you be today had you not let those things hold you back? 2019 for me personally was like the craziest, busiest year of my life. I had a baby. I had to adjust from being a mom of one to a mom of two. It was just so crazy. But when I reflect back my, on my business, my business quadrupled in that year. So I just want you guys to reflect back and use that. Whatever happened in 2019, use it as fuel to your fire for this year. So you guys know I'm the queen of letting go of what doesn't serve you and excuses. So all these valid excuses that we all have, like the real stuff, like the sicknesses and the deaths in the family and job stress and kids and just the crazy unexpected things. I want you guys to remember that this business is in your lap for a reason. And it is the opportunity for one day for you to be able to say, I need a few days off. I need a few weeks off because I have to put my family first. And even if, um, you know, I can't, I don't want to be able to, I don't want to have to answer to someone else. So if my family needs me, I want to be able to say, I'm here. Like I am here, I'm present, and I don't have to answer to anyone else. And this business can do that for us, but we have to be willing to put in the work now. So we always talk about short-term sacrifices, long-term gains. You have to ingrain that mindset in your head and not just tonight, not just on Mondays, not just at the beginning of the month, but literally every single day, even on the hard days. So I wrote down a few quick tips that I want you guys to implement for 2020. And if you do these things, I guarantee you, you're going to level up and you will thank yourself when we're having our first call of next year. So first things first, if you're my team, you're going to laugh at this. Write down your goals. I don't care what you write it on, but write it down and put it somewhere that you will see it every single day. Number two, stop playing it safe. If your goals feel safe and realistic and comfortable, then stop. You need to dream bigger. You need to get with your upline. They should literally make you want to throw up. Um, number three, what are you putting out there? Are you putting self-doubt, doubt in your business, or is it confidence, professionalism, drive, and discipline? Whatever it is, your network is seeing, and it's reflecting on you. So reflect on that and adjust it as needed. Number four, go all in. Prepare to miss out on things. If you are growing a multi-million dollar business, do you think that you're going to be able to do all the things that you want to do? Definitely not. So remember, short-term sacrifices, long-term gains, and just think, if you're going all in, anticipate that you're going to miss out on some things this year. Number five, pare down. 
What do your days look like? Reflect on how you spend your time. Are you binging on Netflix, scrolling social media? Is your income producing activity posting and sharing on your stories? Because if this is what you think income produce, producing activity is, it really is not. So this is, this is an important part to um, show our networks that we're being consistent, but it is not income producing activity. So the last thing, I have a little challenge for you and it's something that Dana Collins challenged us to do when I first became a district manager and I really feel like it changed my business. So um, I, was, I realized that I was thinking about Armon all the time, but I was posting about it, but I wasn't actually doing the hard things that I needed to do to reach the goals that I wanted to hit. So I'm gonna challenge each and every one of you guys. There's 77 people on this call, you know who you are. And if you are on this call right now, I challenge you to get six events on your calendar before the end of January. And I don't care if this is virtual events on Zoom or Facebook Live or in person or a one-on-one -on -one coffee date, but your minimum is six. And I can remember hearing this as a brand new DM and I thought, Dana Collins must have lost her mind because how in the heck do I have time to do this because I have a child and I have a job. But when I was going region and I was seven months pregnant with a toddler hanging off of me and all this crazy stuff going on in my life, I realized that six events in a month would not get me to region. So if you're really dreaming big for this year, I challenge you to double that number or triple it every single month. Um, and to keep yourself accountable, I want you to send your direct upline a picture of your calendar by the end of this week with your events. So if you're really serious about this business and you really wanna level up this year, you're gonna do this homework and you're gonna send it to your upline and then your upline is gonna know who is ready to run. Um, the last thing I wanna say is that as your VP team, and I know I speak for the other girls on this team, we seriously believe in each and every one of you. It doesn't matter if you're on our team or not. The key is that we know that you already have what it takes. You just have to believe it and you have to make the decision and go for it and be disciplined enough to every single day put the work in. And I 1000% believe that if you saw yourself the way that we see you, you are already halfway there. So that's all I have, and I'm pass over to Amanda. All right, hi everybody. <clears throat> so I was actually showing these two things that we went over, we posted to our page, the seven daily um, missions, and then the find or help eight, find two. So this, I do this every single day. This holds me accountable, it's in my face, it's saying, Hey, Bia, get off your butt, finish your seven daily missions and before you hit that bed. So, and then this one, it just reminds me of where I'm at, what I need to do, who I need to help. So keep those in mind, guys. And they're listed in Courage Nation. We can even list it um, in there. Like, we can post it tonight after the call. Um, again, just because, guys, having things in your face makes it happen. It makes it real. Um, so, but I'm going to go over this month with Arvon is freaking amazing. Every month they come out with something different to kind of hook us up. One of the favorite things that I love is the little, um, like the travel size freaking shampoo and conditioner. Every, I was begging. I'm like, oh my God, for 2020, can they please come out with little things for us when we order 300? I love their little gifts. I mean, I have like card little scent things and things like that, that I bought product just to get those things. So because, hey, I could use some travel shampoo and conditioner. <laughs> so those type of things motivate me to make my purchase. And then I know that my wholesale buyers also look at that too. So a lot of you guys should be maximizing on those people. But this month with the drop of QV needed to become a DM, you guys, this is cereal, like above and beyond cereal. Like, Instead of 6,000, it is 3,500. That is 11 nutrition kits, you guys. And let me break this down for you. Some of you looking at me, you're like, 11, get out of here, Amanda. Get out of my face, I can't do 11. But here's the thing. You all probably have a crap ton of PCs who started their 30 today. Here is the, like, woo -hoo! If you coach your clients 
by week three, you will have new teammates. And here's the kicker. By that point, they'll be feeling so incredibly amazing that they are going to have told somebody or are going to tell people or people are asking them at, at week three, what are they doing? How are they losing this week? Why do they look like they're on cloud nine instead of Debbie Downer like they were three weeks ago? People are going to notice by week three. So that's when you maximize on growing your team. Week three, you start asking those people who you have coached, who you encourage and just be there for them. You ask them to join your team. You ask them how much they love it. Then those people find their eight. Well, here is the joy of this. Your 11 can be broken down into whatever you choose. So you get two new consultants. Let's say each of them find three best friends to do the nutrition kit. That's six, just with them two. Plus, they will restock. So let's, in theory, do this. That's four and four, that's eight. That means in an entire month, y'all, 31 days this month, you would only need to sell three kits. <laughs> How amazing is that? 3,500 may look like a lot, but broken down and determination and belief in yourself and in your, in your team or your team that you don't even have, holy crap. You guys should, every single consultant on this call should be a DM by January 31st. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. You find your eight dirt people, I call them, that they would eat dirt, that they would ride through a really scary field, which I have a lot around here if y'all want to come test it out. I mean, like they will go with you. They will, you know, above and beyond believe in you even before they believe in themselves. Find your eight people. Those are usually like your cousins or your best friends or your people like that. It's never your mom or your closest family. I'm just going to let you guys know that now. They'll probably be your last people on, but don't get your feelings hurt about it. <laughs> it's all natural. But break it down. Don't make things so complicated, you guys. You guys can do this. And it's such an incredible feeling when you make these little milestones and set up yourself for these big goals, write them everywhere. And my best advice to you, put it on the mirror where you brush your teeth. It's the first thing that you're going to see in the morning. It's the last thing that you're going to see before you go to bed. And there are studies that show that things like that, that are in your head from start to finish, you finish. So make it happen. That is pretty much my advice for the night. Break it down, make it simple, play hard, and, and get it done. I hate following you. You're the worst to follow. <laughs> She's always so, like, amazing and so happy and in our faces, and I love it so much, but it always sucks to follow Amanda. Like I love you. The worst. And she though. goes sick, guys. That's why she's not <laughs> attending. This. Oh, yeah. Ashley, you go sick. She's on. She's watching. Uh, but I'm on. You guys <laughs> don't want to listen. You get it, girl. Listen. Look at you. I'm looking around. <laughs> well, we love you, Hugo. Feel better soon. Um, so I just want to highlight really quickly. Oh, by the way, I'm Nikki. I don't know if some of you guys don't know me, but I'm Nikki Aby. Um, and I just want to highlight something that Amanda said. And we talk about it so, so, so much, but it's all mindset. Like, you know, if you're looking at this 3,500 and you're not even attempting to break it down, like, and you're thinking it's just too much they're literally giving it to you. And it, this is the best chance you could possibly have. I'm not saying you can't do DM at any other time, but like, this is your chance. Like if you're thinking that this is hard, then it's going to be hard for you. If you're thinking that I can do this, like she said, write down your goals, go for it. Like this is your opportunity. This is the start of the year. It's the best possible time for them to be doing this for us. Like start your year off right. And just like, go for it, go balls to the wall. We are here to help you even if you're not on our teams, like totally fine, reach out to whoever you want to reach out to and we will help you get there. Um, so I'm just going to wrap up with a couple of things. Um, basically we want to talk about like our month at a glance. So Amanda already touched on going DM this month. Um, but specific to courage nation, you can find all of our, um, monthly information on our cover photo on our Facebook page. So if you click on that, it has all the reminders if you don't know where to find it. But um, first and foremost, our in-person meeting is going to be January 29th. Um, it's at a new location. It is at the South River Golf Club, 7 p.m., January 29th. This is something that you guys should be at. Um, if you are taking your business seriously, you need to be there. It is 
we're, we're scaling back the in-persons. We're not doing them every single month. They're going to be bigger. We're going to have tons of training. And if you've not been to one, there's something completely different about being around um, all of these like-minded women or people or men or what, you know, whoever. Um, but there's something, hang on, I'm going to read everybody out really quick. Um, there's something about just being there. Um, okay, there we go. Sorry. Um, so make sure you get yourself there. If you're taking your business seriously, you need to be there. It's one night out of the month. Um, get a babysitter, do what you got to do. So there's that. And then, um, just to go over our calls really quickly, our call time has changed to 830 as you are seeing tonight. First call of the month is our nation call. Um, the second call of the month is going to be like a skills based training call. So whatever SVPs decide, if you guys as uh, members of our team have something that you want us to touch on, please share it with us. We want to hear from you. We want to know what you're seeking. Um, so just let us know if there's something specific you want us to talk about. Then the third Monday of the month is going to be on our Facebook group. Um, if you have not been added to the Arbonne Ripple Effect group, make sure you talk to your upline and get yourself added. And then when you are um, adding people to that Facebook page, make sure that you're asking them first. Don't just go and add people, um, which you should already, most people should already know this, but have that conversation. That way it's not just you're adding people that have zero interest or don't know what they're talking about. And then that, then you look bad as a consultant. So don't definitely don't do that. Um, it will either be a discover Arbon or a healthy at happy hour. So that will be the third Monday. And then the fourth Monday will be a guest speaker. Um, and those are always fun. You never know who we're going to have. Um, they bring a different energy that you guys have never heard before. So make sure that you are on again, it's a half an hour on Monday. It's not that big of a deal. Make sure that you hop on and do that. Um, and then as far as Arbon goes, Amanda's kind of already touched on this, um, but we have the um, true hair, which I love. I'm like a hair person. So make sure you're utilizing that to find out what Arbon is offering. All you have to do is go to your dashboard and it literally says like this month at a glance, trending this week, whatever it says going to say on there, you click on that and it gives you all of the information of the new things that Arbon is offering. So if you're new or if you're just not really familiar with how to use the website, that's where you get your information from. Um, and make sure you're utilizing that because that's where you can see the um, nutrition blockbuster. That's only until the 14th, guys. Like that is insane, the nutrition blockbuster. Like you're getting two free gifts. If you're signing up a new client, they're getting another free gift. If they have a free gift on their account, they're getting another free gift. Like use it, please, dear God, use it. It's awesome. Um, and then super important, Wednesday, January 8th. So this Wednesday, set your alarms. There is a huge Arbonne announcement. We as RVPs, I don't know if you guys have gotten anything, but I don't know what it is. Um, I'm sure the NVPs know what they're talking about, but it's going to be a Facebook Live on the Arbonne ICC page. Set your alarm, 6 a.m. Pacific time, which is 9 a.m. if you're in the Dino or somewhere in Maryland. So make sure you guys hop on that. Um, so I think that's everything that Hugo was supposed to cover. Pop in if you. If I miss anything, you go. The only thing, Nick, so you guys, Courage Nation's page is mainly um, for incentives, for updates, and for welcoming people. So, I haven't gotten there yet, girl. Oh, I thought you were saying you were done. Sorry. No, that was just Hugo's section. Oh, my bad, my bad. Sorry, guys. <laughs> no, welcome. Everybody needs a welcome. Welcome, 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 welcome. Yes, exactly. All right, I'm getting there, I promise. Okay, so I'm rolling through because we only have eight minutes. I'm trying not to go over, but... So next thing we're going to cover is um, Facebook etiquette. So Courage Nation etiquette. So this is specific to Courage Nation. We think that there is going to be like such an amazing income of all new consultants. There already has been. Like our team has grown insane. We want to know that everyone, we want everyone to feel welcome. So big, 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 most important thing you can do please welcome everyone. When someone is new to the getting added to the page, just type welcome. Just say hello. Like imagine as a new person, we've all been new. Like what a difference that makes you feel to know that you have made this amazing decision that all of these people have your back. Um, the easiest way to do it is at the end of the night, you just go to sort, you hit recent posts, you go through, make sure you checked everybody off. It'll take you five seconds. Um, 
I recommend to everyone checking the Facebook page once in the morning because we normally post things like this, important things for the day, and then once at night. If that's all you can do, then that's fine. You don't need to get on there all day long, every single day. Check it in the morning, check it at night, make sure you welcome people. Um, second most important thing is encouragement, guys. Like people are, this is not all sunshine and rainbows. People are sometimes struggling. People are sometimes needing help. Please help them. Um, so when someone is new, not only welcome them, but shoot them a friend request um, and then help them on their personal page as well. So when you see them posting um, you know, about their Arbon journey, please comment on that. Keep it positive, keep them going. But on the Courage Nation page, like for sure help them out. Um, other things that are great to post on the Courage Nation page. If you find a good book, if you find a good audio book, if you um, are listening to my virtual upline and there's an episode that you love, post it, post it, post it. Like anything that's going to be helpful, 100% post away. Um, I always suggest if you have a question to use the search bar first. Um, if you use the search bar, you can't find an answer. You ask your upline, they can't give you an answer. Post that to the Facebook page as well. Um, we're always here to help out and we just want to make it as much of a helpful community as possible. Um, and then shout outs, like for sure. We are always super proud of our team. We're super proud when people hit milestones, whatever those might be. And whether it's just, you haven't hit a milestone, but you're just being an awesome leader or you're doing a really good job at X, Y, Z, post away, give each other shout outs. That's like the best thing that you can use Courage Nation for because it just should be this huge uplifting um, group for all of us. Um, okay, got it all, right, Amanda? Okay. <laughs> all right, so last thing we're gonna touch on is beach retreat. And I am so happy that I get to talk about this because I am telling you with 100% certainty, if I did not go to beach retreat last year, I would not be an RVP on this call. And Amanda and Bridget, I love you too because y'all like sat, sat me down and were like, girl. And this is the type of thing that happens at the beach retreat. Like, yes, you need to be there for the training because this is not a typical work environment. And you can't just go to your boss and be like, hey, I don't know how to do this. You have to put the time in. This is your training. Um, and that is, it also includes watching YouTubes and all that other kind of stuff. But these things are put on to better your business. So make it happen. I understand that there are certain excuses um, that are you know, val like valid excuses, like if you're getting married that day, whatever. But if your kid has a soccer game, you have between now and March to make friends with a soccer mom and get her to take your kid. Okay? Do not miss this. So details for that, it is March 20th through the 22nd. It's a two night stay. You do not have to stay. You can come just for the day. I don't know why you wouldn't wanna stay with us because we're super fun. But if you don't wanna stay, totally fine. We have one house booked. We're working on another one. Um, depending on numbers, we probably are gonna end up needing three because that's just how many people are gonna come. Um, your stay, we will do a welcome dinner on Friday night. Saturday will be training all day. Saturday night, we will go out and have a whistle off. You need to be there. Um, and then Sunday, we'll clean up out all of our mess and it'll be ridiculous. Um, okay, so to reserve your spot, if you're a consultant or a DM, 25 bucks. Um, and you can do this through Purple Slate, I'm pretty sure. If you are an AN, it's 50 bucks to reserve your spot. If you are a VP, we are already paid, so no big deal, but it's 150. Um, and then you can earn this. So to earn it, since December's over, you earn December, January, and February are the qualifying months. You need to do, I'm gonna make sure I'm getting this right. Okay, one new consultant with 500 QV in their start month. That can be them, their kit, and one other kit. If you didn't do it in December, do two now, and that will count. So if you didn't you know, make the qualifications in December, it's okay, don't freak out. You can still earn it with January and February. So one new consultant with 500 QV, promote yourself to the next level or somebody else to the next level. And you wanna be doing your reach outs um, and send these to your upline. So we're telling you 200 reach outs, which sounds crazy, but it's really only 10 a day. That does not mean that you send 10 random Facebook messages a day. That means 10 conversations, you can talk to the girl at the coffee shop, whatever you wanna do, send it to your upline, you're in. So make sure that you make it a priority to be there. Um, we are, like I said, we're tons of fun. We need the training. It's also like not even just the training guys, but like the
the little tiny tips and tricks that you don't actually know that we don't really get a chance to train on just from talking to so many other people while you're there, you learn so much. Like I can't even explain it enough. And then the team bonding, the accountability, the girls that aren't on your team that are going to be texting you when you're going for qualification, promotion, all of those things, you come back and you're just like ready to go. And we went in March last month, last year, and I qualified for RVP in March. So I'm telling you, like, you come back with a different mindset. Before I went to that beach retreat, there was, there was no way I was going for RBP, RBP qual, like, wasn't even on my radar. And it was what, like the 20th of the month again. So like, I'm telling you, it's a game changer. You need to be there. I think that's everything I have. Um, when you left that kitchen, you were ready to go. Qual. Right. <laughs> Just saying, right, Bridge? We had her in a corner. We were like, what are you waiting for? I know. I love you guys. So that's what I'm saying. Like, make these friendships. Get those people that are backing you up 100%. And you guys can, like like Crystal said, we'll all be in Maui together next year. So make it happen. Are we good? Anybody have anything else to add? RVPs? Look at us, 9 o'clock on the dot. I know. All right, I girls. Oh, sorry, I, just one, I just want to say one thing. So one of the questions I get a lot is what, you know, how do you motivate your team? And I just want to, for you girls who are at DM and are trying to get to AM or AM and trying to get to RVP, do the do. If you do it, your team's going to want to do it. So you have to do it guys. All right. I've already sold three kits this month and my warm network has been tapped for months not almost a year. So if you want your team to do it, and if you're wondering why your team is not doing anything, it's because you need to look in the mirror, make sure you're doing it too. So yes, we should all be re-promoting to DM. Exactly. All be re-promoting to single person. hundred percent. Yeah. Preach it sister. All right. All, all right. right. Thank you guys. Love you guys.